We're going to move on to Italy now, where thousands of people have protested against the economic policies of Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. Faced with the current economic crisis, the demonstrators have called for a reduction in taxes and better job security. Many in Italy are fed up with Berlusconi and his economic policies. In the meantime, Italian opposition parties have also protested over a decree to reinstate government candidates for regional elections this month. The March 28th through 29th elections in 13 of Italy's 20 regions are regarded as a test for Berlusconi after a year plagued by scandals. We're going to discuss this with Dr. Shahrar Ali from the Green Party Movement uh, from Brent Central London who joins us. Also on the phone, Matthew Stevens, our correspondent uh, from Rome. Uh, let's go straight to uh, London and ask the first question from Dr. Shahrar Ali. Uh, Dr. Shahrar Ali, uh, the approval for Berlusconi's government has fallen close to its lowest levels due to the recent well, chaos surrounding the registration of his candidates, which was a, a, a decree to reinstate government candidates for regional elections. Uh, how badly will this affect Berlusconi's party, do you think? Well, obviously nobody can vote for you if you're not actually going to be at the ballot box. However, every political party in a Western democracy, including the European Union, has to respect the functionaries who actually put people through to the ballot box. And for whatever reason, this process did not work for the, the Freedom Party on this occasion. And they need to respect that decision. And if they want to take it up after the election, they will be able to do so. We also know that people are demonstrating today because they want to ensure that laws are not actually passed by Berlusconi to prevent him from being tried. Okay. Uh, Matthew Stevens, can you please tell us about the demonstrations that Dr. Shahra Ali was mentioning today, what people were saying, what they wanted, uh, what their gripes are? Yeah, well, uh, good evening, first of all. Uh, well, the, the, the rally yesterday uh, saw a huge response. Um, thousands, we were there, of course, and thousands gathered in Rome's uh, Piazza del Popolo, uh, opposition leaders held speeches uh, accusing the Berlusconi government of being incapable, basically, of running the country and of being out of touch with the real problems uh, affecting the population. Um, as you mentioned earlier, the event was organized following the introduction of the government decree uh, that allows candidates' uh, lists to be presented past the deadline set by Italian law, basically. And... Um, well, the situation is quite complicated right now. We must remember that Berlusconi does have a, a very um, huge uh, appeal to the Italian people. Um, they, so this is going to be a test for Berlusconi's um, future, uh, political future. But, um, and, and Italians are growing, maybe, they are unhappy of what's going on. Definitely, at a political level in Italy. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, Matthew let me, let me bring in sure. Dr. Shahar Ali. Dr. Shahar Ali, we're going to look at sure. Berlusconi, uh, and I'm going to give you a quote here that said, uh, Berlusconi is the best political leader in Europe and the world. That was his quote on himself. Uh, so let me ask you, can and will Berlusconi's People of Freedom Party deliver on the fronts that are important? And what the people are saying is important is... Uh, basically looking at uh, health care, looking at the unemployment to come down, education. I don't believe he can. And uh, the, the Green Party of Italy, uh, Angelo Bonelli, of the leader there, was also demonstrating uh, yesterday. Uh, th the problem is, is that you can't, if you don't respect the law and you're trying to pass laws which enable you to uh, be treated differently, then you cannot govern a country. Basically, it's not... The law is for everybody is one of the slogans that was being pushed uh, yesterday in the, in the rallies. So, you know, we believe in that, and uh, this has to be respected by politicians and heads of states included. And it's a, it's a confusing thing when we just speak to our correspondent, Matthew Stevens there was uh, talking to us from Rome. I don't know if you heard, but he said that uh, Berlusconi still is very popular amongst the people. It, it doesn't quite... Uh... Well, he... Go ahead. Well, he may be popular, but again, uh, there has been pressure brought to bear on some of the media, the state-run media, uh, RAI, um, which are known to be sometimes critical on the talk shows of Berlusconi. I mean, we can't have that. You know, we can't have this clamping down on, 
on political uh, speech, um, which helps people to make an informed decision at the ballot box. I mean, he's broadly described as uh, a right-wing politician. Some of the statements that he makes are not conducive to uh, social cohesion even, um, accusing the judiciary of being uh, Taliban-esque um, is, is sort of not only a, a false accusation, but it's also tarnishing them uh, with a ludicrous suggestion that Muslims, for example, are in some sense uh, not respecting of, of the law in Italy. Well, we're going to look forward to the 28th and 29th of March. 13 of Italy's 20 regions are going to be tested uh, for Berlusconi. We appreciate that. Thank you, Dr. Shahrar Ali, Green Party Movement from Brent Central in London, and also, of course, Matthew Stevens from Rome.